to another Mario Kart experience. <laughs> anyway, today uh, we'll be starting, um, which is going to be a multi-part episode thing, which is going to be us doing three cups, uh, or actually me rather, doing three cups, getting first place and all. If I do not get first place, I will have to restart the entire cup, and that will be annoying during the last three cups. But for now, we'll uh, do the first three ones, and these are all going to be on 200cc. So, uh, the fastest and the only way to play Mario Kart nowadays. <laughs> so, uh, there's that. So, you want to mix things up a bit. <laughs> Get my little Vespa here. Um, and you know what? To add some more spice to it, Explodes will pick my vehicle, tires, and objectively best kite or uh, flag thing in the back. Whatever it is. Hmm. Well, I can't really guess which one I want to do unless you keep moving. <laughs> oh, oh, you want me to keep moving? I'm going to go like in a lottery circle until you find one that you like. <laughs> I hope this is helpful. Let's go the uh, classic forward. The uh, little zucchini looking one. The zucchini looking one. Uh, this thing here? No, that's a streetle. The Ford one. The oh, car. The, uh, uh, the, license. the officially licensed vehicle. Um, let me see. Where is that? Uh, silver zucchini. Ah, here you go. The GLA. The silver arrow. Oh, this is the zucchini one you're talking about, right? Yes. Okay, good. Thank you for not making me suffer. All right, tires. What type of tires do you want? The smallest ones there are. Oh, yes, the rollers. <laughs> I think it's the rollers. Let me see. Uh, Yeah, we'll go for the Azure roller. There we go. This is blue. And Super Ladder, I don't even think it affects anything, so it's going to be, uh, be the golden one I earned. There we go. And we're we'll starting on the mushroom cup, so let's go. I have no idea how this is gonna handle, but I hope you gave me a good loadout. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> anyway, let's get going. So this is the first cup, a mushroom cup. This should be the easiest one, and it's uh, an original stage, right? Mario Kart Stadium. It's not based on anything. It might be, uh, which version is it? Is it the, uh, Retro Cup or the Normal Cups? Uh, this is, uh, Normal Cups is Mushroom Cup, so... Then it shouldn't be. Okay. Alright, wow, these tiny tires. <laughs> but if it's a Classic Cup, it might be based on something... I don't have any of the DLC yet. I plan on buying that later when uh, all the when most of the cups are already uh, uh, out. Also, I really I really like and love it. I have a love hate relationship with um, with 200 CC. There's just something cool about knowing that the developers did not intend for these tracks to be on this speed, but it exists anyway. Because they felt like it. Yeah, and obviously I love fast, so um, having the ability to go this fast. Oh, there you go. Uh, it's such a joy to my heart. Look at that. Look how fast I went. Mario should be dead after that collision, but he's not. Wario could survive a nuclear explosion. No, he could eat a nuclear explosion. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> thought I hit it with the other one. All right, I should still be able to clutch out first. This is a random blue shell, which is bound to happen. Nope, I got it. Yay, I got first place. Ah, yeah. And then here comes the giant fist to congratulate it's you. It's too late, fist. Your job is done. <laughs> oh, no, I'm, uh, I'm actually just trying to congratulate you. Good I, job. Uh, nobody asked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, on no, to you, I'm on to you, Master Hand. Don't act like you're somebody else. 
<laughs> all you must do is clap for Kirby. That's it. That's all you can do nowadays. Uh, uh, this, this is another track. I'm, I'm only sort of so-so on it. I, I think it's okay. In terms of how tracks go. I like the music when it plays first place. I like how the, the bass complements the main beat. Also, I love how 100 cc or sorry, 200 cc really uh, makes you think about if you should actually perform boosts or not. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. Ooh. Woo! Oh, thought my Niners were gonna save me. It's okay. <laughs> It was just a banana. This game just seems to like giving the gaps some breathing room. Oh, so it's not Unlike like... the past game. Well, the past, are you seeing the past games that were all skill based? <laughs> <laughs> no! Just make this more skill based. Yeah, this is more skill based, obviously. They, I know that I know it's possible to, to make a comeback from like last place to first place, but this game really truly does feel like they said, "Okay, oh great, blue shell." Well, there has been scientific research that suggests that the computers are actually cheating less In this than game? than yeah. Oh, okay. We don't got In that both dumb rubber versions band of it, but Wii. still. <laughs> The rubber banding from Wii. <laughs> Never forget. I'm I'm really convinced that the rubber banding from Wii was just the, the game... Because you can't see every character on the screen at once. They're just like T-posing and they're just being pushed by Master Hand close to you. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really good bopping track. I like it. The, the, the Diabetes World uh, from Sonic Colors is a good addition to this game. Oh yeah. Yeah, this, this is pretty much just the Sonic Colors level. <laughs> it's a lot of food levels. Again, I love the music track in this, in this uh, section. Yeah. Also, this is the first one where you realize, oh man, I should probably not boost all the time. Because of these turns. <laughs> and this turn right here. Ah, yeah. There we go. And it also... Playing this game really makes me hate Strikers more. Just because of all the reused voice clips they have. <laughs> they animated to it at least they gave them you know they could uh, sound like they're making the, those noises look like they're making the noises i saw the daisy trailer and i was just like with her saying oh yeah bring it or whatever whatever it was like oh yeah or something whatever and her actually enunciating it with her mouth threw me off so much i was like i did not realize how much i, I like this you know my video game character actually looking like they're saying the words coming out of their mouth instead of it being said in their head. Too bad it just didn't end up uh, having the full thing cooked. Oh no. Just like you with that blue shell. I mean, it wasn't aiming towards me, but that, key, that CQ really knew <laughs> that I was going in that direction. Real shame if somebody had a mushroom there. <laughs> also, I like how Wario, when he gets first place, he's like, boom, shakalaka! <laughs> like, stuff like that, I really wish that we would have seen in his victory for, um, for Strikers. It, it was so limiting with the amount of voice clips they chose to use in the, uh, for the victory stuff. Like, I would have loved for him to score something and be like, boom, shakalaka! <laughs> like, <laughs> that would be pretty cool to see animated. Um, speaking of strikers, did strikers do well, or did it not do well? I don't know. I did not really want to look it up. 
Because, um, personally, I felt like the game bombed, but that's just a personal thing. It doesn't necessarily mean it did. And if it does bomb, that means Nintendo's gonna look at that game and be like, mm, people don't like Strikers anymore. <laughs> uh, sir, they're forming a board called saying they want the better Strikers. Nope, and then nope, the guy nope. just the says, sales yep, dictate they that they do not want Strikers at all. We're gonna go back to just basic soccer, and we'll call it Mario Soccer. And it's gonna be them playing soccer gentleman-like. No violence for the kids, just regular soccer. <laughs> and it'll take 12 years to make. Yep. By that point, I'm sure the demographic will be there. <laughs> <laughs> all those, all those idiots that said Battle League was a terrible game, they won't be around anymore. Neither will I. <laughs> In the meantime, let's uh, ruin, I mean, make a new sluggers. <laughs> <laughs> What's that, Sakurai? He's done making Smash? We can make Smash, right? We can do it by ourselves. How about we make Smash again, but ten times worse? That would make the fan base happy. We'll cut the roster down, and they'll be like, man, I'm so happy that we get to play with less characters that. Or, you know, you know, no, better idea. Why don't we make the game with not that many characters to start with and then charge later for the entire roster that people are used to? Oh, man, that sounds like really Yeah, no more free DLC crap. Yeah, no more free DLC. We'll charge them, you know, we'll give you the game, but you could only play as Mario. <laughs> the rest of the characters are unlocked via DLC. Day one, of course. <laughs> Day one DLC. Five dollars a character. And we have 50 characters already made from the previous game. But we just want them to buy it on the brand new console. Brilliant! <laughs> oh, but we won't put it too much of it on the disc like uh, Capcom would. <laughs> <laughs> I'd argue we have a better reputation than Capcom and we can do whatever we want. <laughs> 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 oh man, the day that that happens, oh man, Nintendo's gonna go downhill. Also, yeah, I got a flawless victory on that one. So that was the the Mushroom Cup. Uh, let's switch things up. Let's go from Wario, my main, to my second main. Yeah, where's the ah? Here's the absolute mad lad, Bowser. Bowser. All right. Ah. Go ahead and uh, give me my next car. We've already done the zucchini machine. <laughs> Hmm. There. Scroll, please. Oh, okay. It's Bowser driving the legendary vehicle of legends. Hmm. With the ladybug flying ladybug car. Flying ladybug car. Let's see. I'm looking for it. I'm looking for the lady. Wait, are you talking about the, the wiggler? No, the ladybug. Like the, uh, it's like those bitty bugs from a uh, 3D world. Oh, um, um, talk oh, ladybug. Oh, I don't see now. I, I uh, you talking about the streetle? <laughs> going. Okay. Keep uh, going. V Dasher, Takuni Car, Blue Falcon. It's got actual wings. Oh, let's see. oh, this one, the bitty, the bitty buggy. Yes. Okay. Ladybug. <laughs> now pick the big piece of wheels you can get. All right, I'm going for the blue ones. <laughs> yeah, monster. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so yes. second cup. Uh, is the second cup the flower or the shell? I think it could be either or. Alright, we're going for Moo Moo Meadows, my objectively favorite track in the game. <clears throat> Man, I wish I could play Choco mm. <laughs> Well, it's already starting, the Nintendo DLC revolu revolution. Because it's actually somewhat quality. Yeah. Chuckle Mountain is one of the actual good stages out of the four. <laughs> it's funny. I'm pretty sure they have like one good stage within each pack, which is gonna be kind of sad. I think it 
was two for this one, depending on who you ask. Oh, the music. Oh, it's the music. I don't know. There's something, something about this music when I first heard it in like a long time was that just it made me cry, but like a happy cry, you know. It, it brought it brought up memories of the past for me, and I never even played the, uh, this this uh, the stage that this is based on uh, when I was younger. Also, I feel like the CPU also does not know how to play on 200cc sometimes. Especially when there's things in the middle of the road. Yeah. Maybe I'll run right into that cow! <laughs> nope, that was a bad idea. <laughs> I like how Bowser is, is cool with driving anything. Actually, this was a good good time for me to be small. Oh, <laughs> child, you better not be my rival racer. Oh no, that's Toadette. <laughs> child, <laughs> they all look the same to me. <laughs> Are we gonna make her the Bowser's wife in the comic? <laughs> Wait, Bowser has a wife. <laughs> in the comic? I, I don't remember who, if we made Our comic? Well, I, I know our comic, but I'm... <laughs> I mean, like, she's gonna wear the crown, but that's still Toadette. <laughs> oh, yeah, Toadette. yeah, I forgot, I forgot. Peach, yeah, yeah Peach. Because <laughs> we made we made a canonical Peach evil, and she gets killed off later. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, Peach, which is funny, because we didn't have that plan. It wasn't until the meme happened. <laughs> That we retroactively changed that. I love how we're able to change stuff in the script. Uh, if I um, let me let me beat this this one first before I talk more on that. Remind me when we get when this race is over. By the way, I don't like this track. I don't like this track. <laughs> that's that's one thing I I dock points from this from this game when it comes to the some of the tracks. I don't like their up uh, their focus on the uh, the trumpets. And the jazz saxophone stuff. I don't know, it takes away a lot of the epicness that could happen from these uh, levels. Ironically, that's what makes one of the certain one certain track the, one of the best. Well, yeah, if you're talking about the uh, one track well, I think I'm you're talking about, of... then yeah, it's good for that, but I don't think it's for every track in the game. Is what I'm getting at. <laughs> I thought you were talking about Guile's theme for a second. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> Let me just move this tire over here. Thank you. <laughs> oh, good. I'm safe from blue shells. <laughs> Alright, don't mind me. Hey Mario, by the way, when's Pac-Man coming back? <laughs> he was racing with us the other day, what happened? <laughs> Why <are you> bad? <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know you have to be that brutally honest, Mario. <laughs> 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 uh, two words Mario had to utter. Pretty bad. <laughs> 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 Enough to freak out Bowser, so oh, Mario. Hold your tongue now. <laughs> uh, they, 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 they still get. They still Italian have machines like that, right? They still have the machines there, right? I think so. Yeah, I, I remember playing the Pac-Man one at a Chuck E. Cheese way before the pandemic uh, broke out, but I thought it was really cool and neat that I never heard about it up until Chuck E. Cheese. It's a shame the music's not good in that. Oh no, it's a, it's, a, it's a real shame that the, the music, I actually listened to the music recently um, and I was really disappointed with how little remixes there were. Well, there's also three of them, one of them mostly just, the other two just adding on to it each time. Yeah, and then they had and a... Nathaniel Bandy did... They had the little, the little crunchy had a little guy, what? right? They had that little crunchy guy from that one beat game, right? In in one of them. 
I... What? Uh, there was one version of I know they had it. Okay. You know that one game with, like, that, the, the rhythm, that rhythm game? I think it also used the bongos back then. Um, there's a little character that's shaped like a sushi. Oh, Taiko Drum. Yeah, that, that dude. Yeah, that might be in the final one. He, he was in a Mario Kart. Um, or the arcade ones, anyway. And, uh... Yeah. That's all I, I think they also added a Tamagotchi so they could just brag about how they are now combined with Bandai. <laughs> no! <laughs> that was how the world was introduced. Sweet. We need a Mario Kart game with uh, Sakurai. Sakurai's a- what? I'm not even first! Oh, sweet! Did I survive that? Oh, great. No, not the shell cracker. Oh, great. Looks like I'm gonna ruin my, my win streak. <laughs> second place! You oh, get yeah. first place! I got second place for that. Awesome. You get first place trophy, but you didn't get three stars, so do it again. <laughs> Darn it! <laughs> I only won slightly good. <laughs> Oh, don't worry, you've already seen my results screen. I've already done that. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, awesome re revamp track from the 64. Not a big fan of the music. I just definitely like the old turn bike. You don't like it? Yeah, it's never been my course. Basic to you? Too basic? Eh, just not basic, but still kind of. Eh. Yeah. Okay. This is me on my way to work every day. <laughs> Hashtag relatable. Tur Toad's Turnpike is is my daily commute. Some guy just driving along, and suddenly they hear some music. <laughs> no, they they hear the uh, the blue shell warnings uh, warning sound. <laughs> wah, 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 what? <laughs> What'd you get out of my way? <laughs> yeah, you weren't a threat, but I felt like throwing a banana anyway. <laughs> ah yes. <laughs> Oops, I guess I missed that. <laughs> also, this feels like. Uh, a, a section of, of the street of um, uh, from Sonic Adventure. Like this feels like it could belong there, the Station Square area. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, the monkeys in the police car. Oh my goodness! Somebody ricocheted me. All right, time to cheat. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Take that, mother. She said I could never be first place champion. <laughs> Look at me now! <laughs> <laughs> Bowser Bowser picks up the, the golden trophy, and just you could just see a tiny shed, uh, uh, like a tiny tear shed on his face. And in, in his mind, he's, 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 uh, he's crying also because his mom just reminded him he didn't get three stars, though. <laughs> <laughs> you suck, Bowser. Is it the gold trophy enough for you? <laughs> okay, now for our last cup. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go with the goddess Rosalina. And uh, go ahead, pick your vehicle of choice. Hmm. Also, I love the fact that they had to make two separate models for the the girls here because they they couldn't bear to, to see that they would be side saddling motorcycles. <laughs> Let's go with the blue falcon. The blue falcon. Oh, okay. Uh, where is that? Where is that? Ah, oh, here it is. <laughs> the blue falcon with the monster truck. Yeah, here's look funny. Anyway, go ahead. So it's a tire choice. 
<laughs> Let's keep the times. Okay. <laughs> okay, so our next one is going to be uh, Flower Cup. Uh, actually, I'm a pretty big fan of these tracks. I wish... Uh, well, I guess this is something they could do since they're apparently modifying a game they haven't really touched in, in some years. But uh, I would like it if you were able to make a long cup. You know, a an 8-track cup. And also you could customize what the races are. And how many laps are in there? That'd be cool. So that way, no, you can... huh? A cup of all the tracks. Oh, dude, yeah, I would love that. And you know, and then you lose one <laughs> of any of the races, and you have to be like, oh, I gotta reset now. <laughs> <laughs> gotta go for that three star. You gotta go for three stars. <laughs> Remember Bowser's mom. <laughs> <laughs> if you can't live up to Bowser's mom's expectations, oh, you should I... stop playing the game. <laughs> Rosalina ought to go for the three stars because she thinks they're her babies. No, she's the one that sets those expectations. I'm not saying that she's Bowser's mom, but she goes to the same club that Bowser's mom goes to. She picks up all those bad habits. <laughs> she's here for the <laughs> emotional damage. <laughs> also, I, I After love... After coming here, I've learned to be more strict with the babies. Yeah, I, I, um, I love how, for some reason, canonically, they make... Rosalina to be super heavy. It, it started with uh, oh. with a uh, was it a 3D world where apparently she's the slowest person there, and she has the heaviest jump. Why is that? <laughs> to be fair, when she was introduced as a quote unquote heavy in Mario Kart, it was in a it was in the one game where they had dropped temporarily dropped the weight sizes and just went with large. Well, People it's, seem to forget that. It, it seems like they haven't forgotten that detail with Rosalina, though. Like, I wanna, yeah, they I wanna, I wanna, I wanna turned the same size uh, which turned to a weight class. Yeah, so I therefore, wanna... she's now heavy. Yeah, that's what I'm, <laughs> I'm wondering. Like, why? What's the, what's the reasoning behind it? Well, <laughs> Is, does she, is she holding, like, a literal planet underneath that dress, or what? Oh my goodness, is she a Luma? Is she a Luma with the crown on? <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, ever since I, I looked into, like, the, the main meat and potatoes of Galaxy, there's nothing that can convince me otherwise that Rosalina is essentially a goddess of the Mario, the Mario universe. If she's able to... I've to, always... I didn't think about that when I first played it. Now, obviously, that was before I met you. But, like, um... Knowing that she has all that power and she can still get, get killed by Goomba really makes you question things. <laughs> she appreciates the challenge is what my, my head cannon is. Oh, uh, so she's one of those gods that are like, I want to know how it feels to be mortal. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and all right. It's letting them countless timelines. I want to have fun. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope she was. If, if she if she's seen like min, uh, like millennia's and all that stuff, I really hope she's not one of those those deities that destroy the planet only to remake it just to have fun destroying it again. That'd be that'd be terrifying. It doesn't seem like it. It seems like she values life. Hashtag Rosalina is is the hero we don't deserve. <laughs> but, you know she's a cool character. I know a lot of people. Oh my goodness! I know a lot of people uh, really like this character for obvious reasons. But I think she's a pretty cool character. She she just barely edges out Daisy for me in terms of like the the Mario Girls uh, lineup. Very easy victory over Peach. Yeah, Peach is like bottom. She's she's underneath like the ugly, the traditionally ugly looking people, uh, any day. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, she's underneath Flurry. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Flurry isn't even unattractive. She just she's just chunky. <laughs> it's the lips. Um. Okay. <laughs> You know, she's got those huge, shittiest lips. True. Um, oh yeah, you know you know who's higher tier on the list than Peach? The, the, was it the, the Bean Queen? 
<laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. Before and after yeah, before being and cured. After. Oh, great. No! Yeah, I, I love how my mom opens up the door and does, does nothing practical after that. She just opens the door. I'm like, okay, thank you. Do I get the I win button? Oh, I got a red shell. That's close to it. Why am I not moving to the... Oh, my goodness. It's my controller. Okay, oh, well. I'm getting... Oh, I hate it when that happens. Yeah, my controller's not going to the... I'm, like, holding onto it. And just chooses not to go. Okay, the controller just... Ditched you, dissed you, so let's just restart. Uh, okay. I guess I'm restarting. I don't mind. It's the last cup anyway. <laughs> It's the last cup. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, I really, really enjoy how the the game. I'm picking the same car anyway, by the way, so no need to yeah. choose. But like the um, the one thing I, I'm starting to hate with uh, with modern controllers is the is the drifting problem and the non moving problem. We never had that as kids, and we abused our consoles back then. <laughs> So I'm starting to question why, what went wrong with these, what's going wrong with these new controllers where back then they didn't break or have technical difficulties. They had a lawsuit over the fact that they denied it. I know that, but it just, it's still happening though. There's supposed to be a fix it up service, but let's be honest, that's not going to work. And yeah, no one's going to actually do it. No one's gonna like. Okay, sorry. Not no one. People are going to, but a small percentage of people will. And they will quickly regret it. Yeah. Because it'll just be busted again in like a week. Yeah. Also, I didn't say about it the first time I played this, but I love the track in this in this one. <laughs> it's good. I really like it. it feels very Mario. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, that feels good. Anyway, so going back to my the whole book thing, um, yeah, uh, I guess Toadette is going to be shipped with Bowser for some reason. Just because of the whole Peach aesthetic. Um, yeah. I mean, like, I did have a joke chapter about him kidnapping princesses before, but absolutely nothing turned out right, so we just said, Great, I'm a good guy. <laughs> That's that's one thing I do plan on working with. Like when when we get to do you know one thing I I know you talked about before how um, we've gone so off the rails with the chapters from the original list we made, uh, almost what seven years now right? When we, when we made that list. <laughs> Can you believe it's been seven years since we started? Uh... Yes, yeah, it's been seven years since we started doing this, dude. Think about that. <laughs> I was uh, I was still in college when when I was um, starting this whole bit with you, and it wouldn't end up taking off until I started working. <laughs> but um, yeah, the the you were telling me a little while back that um, we've been kind of going off the rails. Not that it was a bad thing, but we were just kind of going off the rails of what we wrote back then. And I, I recently looked back, I like I think a week ago, I looked back at the um, at the uh, the old list of ours, and I was saying, you know what? Some of the stuff we kind of did, but we did it better, and it was more of uh, oh my goodness, no, it was more of uh, the stuff that we haven't done yet can pretty much be assumed what we already wrote to be stuff we can do in the, uh, later on. Like, the whole stuff with 21, I'm pushing that to almost right now. Like, it's going to be happening very, very soon. As opposed to, canonically, we did the, the whole 21 uh, joining the, the team stuff was more of a years upon years after the time skip kind of happened bit. So, I mean, hmm. everything kind of worked out. Everything kind of worked out, is what I'm saying. 
Like, uh, back then, you know, you, you could be a witness. I didn't really know that many characters back then, or very much franchise. <laughs> now I do. So we were able to kind of add them retroactively. Uh-oh. No! Gravity has failed me. Um, but yeah. Aw, yeah. Yeah! Ooh. But yeah, that's that's been the case when it comes to uh, the uh, the story behind the story. I've done a pretty good job, I'd say. I mean, it's not a perfect story, but does it have to be? Honestly, does it have to be? I'll take your silence as perfect as it doesn't. doesn't. No, perfect doesn't mean perfect good. Perfect does not. <laughs> yeah. Just go for good enough. And when you feel it's perfect, it's good enough. Honestly, dude? Uh, e even if it isn't quote-unquote perfect, and also, haha, <laughs> perfect victory. Um, I say us having fun doing it has made it, it, it makes it all the more more worthwhile. Just, just doing, having the fun of doing it, and having some type of goal to make it through our mundane, boring lives, is, is all that really takes that's all that really matters to me like um i just got off four days of work in a row and i here i am streaming video games that i love to play with a good friend of mine possibly one of the best friends of mine and we're, we're, we're having fun like you're, you're you're looking at your screen nothing else and you're uh oh great i blew myself out and i'm playing a game and joke about that actually is what i'm doing yeah exactly that's that's you're not Reggie. <laughs> Reggie would have like three different tabs open and be attentively being like, oh yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, yeah, I enjoy doing this. This is one of like the highlights of my week when I go back to work, I'm realizing what did I do while I was not chained to this business? And then I'll think back, oh yeah, Mario Kart. That was a good time. <laughs> also, take that small child. Oh, great, he missed. Or, yeah, I missed. <laughs> oh, I missed! <laughs> alright, alright. But this track, to get back on track. <laughs> uh, but to, to get back on track, though, um, I like I like the music of the stage. Like, noise! That's the wicked water! Buggy? What happened to your voice? <laughs> <laughs> You don't sound like my I still feel what's very dang too. The real shaggy can bench press me. <laughs> if you're the real shaggy, try, go ultra instinct. I don't know why that was so funny. I guess I pulled it off so well. <laughs> that was also a thing I didn't. Do. I I couldn't. You're the really... perfect parody scoop. Wait, what? You're the perfect parody scoop. <laughs> well, my version of, of a parody Scooby is is a serious Scooby Doo that uh that knows his lore so well. Oh, I got second place. <laughs> He know he knows the lore, but he, he he chooses not to talk about it unless he's talking with Shaggy off screen. But um, there oh. is dialogue hidden in the game files that does suggest Scooby will be added later. That's good. To uh, um, we have we have Velma for some odd reason. We have Velma before Fred. Think about that. <laughs> we have oh, Velma I'm not before. Sure they're Fred. gonna add Fred. Thank. Fred really doesn't offer much. Yeah, he just summons Daphne. Who <laughs> <laughs> has been taking a project. Like, if they chose to have only one rep, it should have been Fred who summons Velma and Daphne because he's always hanging out with them away from a, a Scooby Shack. <laughs> let's be fair. Let's be fair. The, 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 the Scooby Doo. Um, the, the Scooby-Doo business does not really care about Scooby. All right, let, let's 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 be fair about that. It's only about Fred, Velma, and Daphne. 
And arguably, I think Velma and Fred are like the only ones that really do their job well. I know that's probably the plot for the Scooby-Doo live-action movie, the second one, but... Um, or was that the Honestly, first one? Honestly, it's the bumbling of the other two that gets the job done. Only because it's all set up by uh, Fred and Daphne. No, Fred and Velma. Let's be fair, Daphne it adds nothing to, this, to the team. Well, she in later incarnations, she gets karate and some fashion things come in handy, but like, before that, she was just danger prone. She was there to be hot, and that was it. <laughs> Let's be fair about that. Hot and kidnapped. Yeah. Which are not mutually exclusive, mind you. But, um... She gets better, unlike Fred, who just says what to do. Okay, gang. Split up with me. <laughs> um, but, you know, I will I will state to this day, I know it's not it's not a it's not an unpopular fact, but Mystery Incorporated. Mwah, very good show. Would watch again. That was well, apparently there's tweets saying that Velma was always meant to be gay in that. What? Oh, because of the friend? It just didn't bother explaining it. Because of the friend, the the friend they had was it a hot dog hot dog water? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I could kind of now that I hear that, I can kind of see that for the finale. They kind of gave you an ambiguous uh uh way to look at that. But honestly speaking, it it, it wasn't. No, I don't think it was. <laughs> I don't think. It was. I think they wanted to have a friendship be there with a random character. Just so they could pull the wool underneath your 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 leg when it came to killing her, because damn, when I when I when I when they heavily implied that she got shot and killed, I was like, whoa, Scooby Doo did that. <laughs> and then everyone was eaten by an abomination. Yeah, my mom actually liked that show. We we watched that show um, all together. That was literally before my grandma got diagnosed with Alzheimer's. Uh, we we all uh, sat together and watched that show on a marathon, on I believe what was that on? That was on it was on Netflix I think. Yeah, it was Netflix had the entire show set up there. So we we marathoned that stuff and we enjoyed the plot. We we didn't know where it was going, but we enjoyed the plot. And I remember st my mom and I were like, "Whoa, they killed her!" <laughs> and, and uh, the you know the ending the ending is weak. Well, I wouldn't say it's weak. The ending, though weaker than the rest of everything that was built up, did feel still satisfying though. I, I gotta say. But uh, uh oh, kill the rest of yeah. But before we get off into a bigger tangent on that, we're gonna call it a part here, and hop right on to Dragon Ball Heroes because we have an hour before Reggie shows up, and we want to pad out things and get more videos out there because I'm running out. <laughs> So uh, until next time, uh, I'll see you guys for the next three cups where we get another two star or higher victory. Because uh, I'm, I'm not going to be killing myself for doing, you know, three star or bust. <laughs> I'm okay with a couple of the, the, the second places. So until next time, bye bye.